Now for more on that scathing report from Republicans in the House Foreign Affairs Committee blaming the Biden administration for the chaotic U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in August of 2021. Joining me now, Democratic Congressman, member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, Jason Quo, a former Army Ranger in Afghanistan. Congressman, thank you very much. So your response to the report and the timing of the report. Well, it's really unfortunate, Andrea, that the Republican majority chose to make this a partisan attack on the Biden administration because the American public actually does deserve a full accounting of our 20 years. You know, over 2,400 Americans gave their life during this war. Tens of thousands of my fellow service members were wounded. The American taxpayer spent over two trillion dollars on this war. We need a full look, which is actually why Congress created the Afghanistan War Commission, which actually is doing that review. The Republicans instead have opted to make this a cherry-picked partisan attack. You know, we took 18 transcribed interviews. That's Congress's version of depositions. The Republicans refused to publicize five of the transcripts of those interviews because it gives information contrary to their narrative. Uh, they, they have cherry-picked facts. They have contorted it. Uh, and it really does a disservice to the answers that the American public deserve. And the report mentions Vice President Harris, 251 times, but that interim report only mentions her two times. He said it was because it took so long to get cooperation from the administration. Well, that's not true. Here, let's talk about the substance of this so-called investigation. First of all, they didn't call any Trump White House officials whatsoever, right? And it was the Trump White House that negotiated this flawed Doha agreement with the Taliban, which excluded our own military, which excluded the Afghanistan government. Uh, so we have no information from them. Uh, of the 18 transcribed interviews, over 3,200 pages of transcription, it only mentions Vice President Harris three times. The witnesses only mention her three times in, that, uh, in those interviews, yet they're 350-page report mentions her over 280 times, right? This is a deeply flawed partisan attack. Uh, and it's really, again, it's unfortunate because the American people deserve answers. We, we deserve to know the lessons learned from this 20-plus year war. This was a 20-year war. This was not a one-month war. Let me ask you about your legislation. You're part of a bipartisan push to do something for our Afghan allies. Mm -hmm. To, to rescue them, those who were left behind, those who were here without jobs, without any source of income. Yeah. And it hasn't gotten a hearing yet. Yeah, th this story is not done yet. That is the challenge, is we still have Afghan partners who are there. And the, the challenge here is we need to actually pass legislation to resolve this. Right? Despite the efforts of the State Department to help get our allies out, it's Congress that has to allocate the funding and streamline the SIV. This is the Special Immigrant Visa Program uh, to help get those folks out. And it's the Republicans in Congress who have repeatedly stonewalled and prevented us from passing this critical legislation. And that's the same with the Afghan partners who were evacuated in 2021. Over 120,000 of those folks were evacuated. Many of those brought to the United States, not all of them. Uh, they have no status. They have no ability to work and move on with their life. There is a bill called the Afghan Adjustment Act that Democrats are pushing forward. Republicans are preventing that bill from being passed. It's time for this to stop. Congressman, thank you, and thank you for your service. Thank you.